Wednesday the 20th of September 2023 Welcome to Evening Prayer in the week of Proper 19 Thank you for joining us Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Savior, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man also has come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life. To the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for the day is Psalm 119, beginning at verse 73. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I trust in your word. I know, Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your loving kindness be my comfort, as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies. But I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me, and also those who know your decrees. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. My soul has longed for your salvation. I have put my hope in your, in your word. My eyes have failed from watching for your promise. And I say, when will you comfort me? I have become like a leather flask in the smoke, but I have not forgotten your statutes. How much longer must I wait? When will you give judgment against those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are true. Help me, for they persecute me with lies. They had almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your commandments. In your loving kindness, revive me, that I may keep the decrees of your mouth. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness remains from one generation to another. You establish the earth and it abides. By your decree, these continue to this day, for all things are your servants. If my delight has not been in your law, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your commandments, because by them you give me life. I am yours, O, oh, that you would save me, for I study your commandments. Though the wicked lie in wait for me to destroy me, I will apply my mind to your decrees. I see that all things come to an end, but your commandments has no bounds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job, chapter 42, and beginning at verse 1. And Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you will declare to me. 
I have heard of you by the hearing of the air, but now my eyes see you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. After the Lord had spoken these words to Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends, for you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. Now therefore take seven bulls and seven rams and go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering and my servant Job shall pray for you. And I will accept his prayer not to deal with you according to your folly. For you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has done. So Eliphaz the Temanite and Bildite the Shuhite and Zophar, the Nemanite, went and did what the Lord had told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job, when he had prayed for his friends, and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then there came to him all his brothers and sisters, and all who had known him before, and they ate bread with him in his house. They showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And each gave him a piece of money and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, a thousand donkeys, and he had seven sons and three daughters. He named the first Jemima, the second Kezia, and the third Karen Hapuch. In all the land, there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his children and his children's children four generations. And Job died old and full of days. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of God. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Saviour, for you have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel for you have remembered your promise of mercy. The promise made to our forbearers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 2. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear, and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were not with a plausible word of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Yet among the mature we do speak wisdom, though it is not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age 
but who are doomed to perish. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the eyes for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor no nor a heard, nor the human heart conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For what human being knows what is truly human, except the human spirit that is within? So also no one comprehends what is truly God's except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And as we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, Interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, O Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us to your daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God.